Ladies and gentlemen, Pad B is almost ready to shine. This brand new launch pad, a serious upgrade from its sibling Pad A, is gearing up to handle the wildest, most ambitious Starship missions yet. Think of it as Pad A's cooler, stronger, and slightly more overachieving twin. With cutting-edge improvements, Pad B is built to withstand the insane forces of Starship launches, and possibly Elon's next big idea. But when will it actually go live? Well, that's the million-dollar question. Until then, let's break down its design, key features, and why it might just become the most famous slab of concrete in space history, right here on today's episode of Elon Musk 24 -0. The construction of Pad B marks one of the most significant transformations at Starbase, symbolizing a shift toward what can be called the Two Towers era, SpaceX's Starship version of dual launch infrastructure. This launch pad will feature a series of major upgrades compared to Pad A, enhancing both reliability and efficiency. Its design can be broken down into three primary components, the launch tower, the orbital launch mount, OLM, and the flame trench system, The launch tower will introduce several key structural and functional improvements. It will be slightly taller than the existing Pad A tower, likely to accommodate the next iteration of Starship version 2. Additionally, the chopstick system used for catching and stacking Starship will be shorter. According to Elon Musk, this adjustment is intended to reduce complexity and bulk while maintaining effectiveness. The chopstick system itself will also be refined. Enhancements will be made to the landing rails and pin system to better align with Starship's landing pins, which are smaller and shorter compared to those used on Super Heavy. This suggests that Tower B will not only serve as a launch platform, but will also specialize in Starship catching attempts, paving the way for full reusability. Construction of the launch tower has progressed at an impressive pace. Following the demolition of old infrastructure and site clearing, the foundation was laid, and the stacking of tower segments commenced. Remarkably, this process was completed in just 41 days, between July 11th and August 21st, thanks to SpaceX's experience from building Pad A. Following this rapid assembly, focus shifted to the construction of the flame trench system, temporarily pausing work on the launch tower. Only at the start of this year did visible progress on the tower resume. By late January, the chopstick sections were actively being moved into position, the chopstick stack support frame was then erected adjacent to the tower, serving as the base for further installations. Shortly after, the chopstick's carriage system was lifted onto this frame, allowing the main arms to be attached. Once the chopstick system was in place, additional components were integrated, followed by a series of testing activities to ensure structural integrity and operational reliability. These tests are crucial as Tower B is expected to play a central role in SpaceX's long-term goal of catching and reusing Starship vehicles. The orbital launch mount, OLM, on the other hand, represents an even more radical departure from the existing design. Unlike the six-legged tripod structure seen at Pad A, the new OLM will feature a box-like configuration composed of multiple reinforced segments. Its overall design will resemble a much larger and more sophisticated version of a transport stand. One of the most groundbreaking features of this new OLM is its mobility, a major improvement over the fixed infrastructure of Pad A. Trunlining, the ability to relocate the OLM will enable SpaceX to swap out launch mounts as needed, allowing for maintenance or upgrades without disrupting the overall launch schedule. This is a significant advantage compared to Pad A, where refurbishment work must be performed on site, forcing launch operations to pause until repairs are complete. Currently, construction of the OLM is advancing at the Sanchez site, with images and footage showing it surrounded by scaffolding and teams of workers. Unlike the launch tower, the OLM's progress is not as frequently documented in structured updates. Given its complexity, it is expected to be the final component installed at the launch pad. Its movement and integration into Pad B will likely mark one of the last milestones before the new system is ready for operation. Supporting the OLM will be the third and most innovative component, the Flame Trench System, which is expected to provide additional protection and efficiency for Starship launches. As construction continues, the anticipation grows for when Pad B will become fully operational, ushering in a new era for Starship and SpaceX's push toward rapid reusability and high launch frequency.
The flame trench is not a new concept in the aerospace industry as it has been used for decades to manage the extreme forces generated during rocket launches. Last year, SpaceX officially introduced this system at its McGregor test facility, demonstrating its effectiveness in redirecting heat, pressure, and energy away from the vehicle and launch infrastructure. Positioned beneath a launch pad or test stand, the flame trench is carefully designed to channel exhaust flow outward, minimizing direct impact on both the rocket and the surrounding structure. Additionally, it integrates a water deluge system, which further enhances its ability to dissipate heat and pressure, making it a promising long-term solution for repeated launches. This design is a significant improvement over the water-cooled steel plate system currently in use at Pad A. The steel plate system, implemented since Flight 2, operates like an inverted shower spraying water before the rocket engines ignite. While it has performed well in mitigating heat and pressure, it has notable drawbacks. The system remains directly exposed to engine thrust, and despite its cooling mechanism, these steel plates experience significant wear over time. Discoloration observed in post-launch images suggests that this system degrades with repeated use, making it an impractical solution for a high-cadence launch schedule. SpaceX's response to this challenge is to implement an upgraded dual-flame trench system at Pad B. This design includes two flame buckets, effectively splitting and redirecting exhaust flow in two directions. By distributing the immense energy from Starship's engines across two channels, the system significantly reduces the stress on the launch pad, ensuring greater durability and efficiency. This advancement is particularly crucial as future iterations of Starship become more powerful, requiring an infrastructure that can support frequent launches without extensive refurbishment. Currently, the Flame Trench system is under construction at the Sanchez site alongside the new orbital launch mount. The structure is being assembled by welding together multiple manifolds, forming the backbone of the dual Flame Trench system. However, before this system can be installed, foundational work must be completed beneath the launch site to prepare for the flame trench installation. SpaceX first excavated the area, then poured an initial layer of concrete to establish a stable base. Following this, steel reinforcement plates were placed in preparation for a second layer of concrete, which will further solidify the structure. The scale of this operation is immense. SpaceX has already deployed 350 concrete trucks to the site, underscoring the sheer magnitude of the foundation's construction. The next key milestone will be the installation of the flame trench walls. Some prefabricated components of this system have already arrived at Pad B, suggesting that installation will begin soon. Once the walls are in place, additional concrete layers will be poured to finalize the structure. At that point, the flame buckets will be transported and integrated into the system, marking the final phase before operational testing. Beyond the core launch systems, several auxiliary systems are also taking shape at Pad B. Adjacent to the Flame Trench site, SpaceX has constructed a UD gantry, a steel structure forming a triangular frame. This system will facilitate improved connections between the ground support infrastructure and the launch vehicle, enhancing fueling and servicing operations. At the same time, new tank farms are being assembled, with water tanks continuously arriving at the site these tanks will play a critical role in supplying the water deluge system for the flame trench. Once installation is complete, SpaceX will likely excavate additional pathways to lay pipelines connecting the tanks to the launch pad's cooling and suppression systems. The upgrades being implemented at Pad B are not just shaping the future of Starship at Starbase, but also influencing SpaceX's broader infrastructure strategy. Similar advancements are expected at Kennedy Space Center where the LC-39A orbital launch mount was recently demolished to make way for a more advanced system. This move signals that SpaceX is actively planning next-generation launch sites beyond Texas. A key indicator of SpaceX's long-term vision is the expansion of the Roberts Road facility, where construction of the new Star Factory and Gigabay is underway. This expansion suggests that SpaceX is preparing for a dramatic increase in launch frequency reinforcing the need for highly efficient, rapidly reusable infrastructure. The rapid development of Pad B with its enhanced flame trench, upgraded launch tower, and reimagined OLM marks a crucial step toward a new era for Starship. As these advancements continue, SpaceX is pushing the boundaries of launch pad reusability and efficiency, laying the groundwork for higher launch rates and more ambitious space missions. So, 
Which upgrade at Pad B do you find most impressive? Let's discuss it in the comments section below. And if you enjoyed the update, please be sure to like the video and subscribe to our channel to stay up to date with SpaceX's latest developments. With Pad B nearing completion, anticipation is building for its first operational use. Given the current construction pace, SpaceX will likely need at least another month to finalize the site. Once complete, a series of tests and system validations will be necessary before it can support launches and landings. If everything proceeds smoothly, Pad B could be operational as early as May or June. That future is approaching fast, but are you ready for it? Pad B is almost ready to take center stage, and when it does, it could change everything. With its next-gen flame trench, upgraded launch tower, and a revolutionary orbital launch mount, this beast of a launch pad is built to handle the wildest Starship missions yet. SpaceX isn't just building for today. They're designing for a future where rockets launch, land, and fly again faster than ever before. But here's the big question. Is Pad B the ultimate game changer for Starship or just another stepping stone towards something even bigger? Drop your thoughts below. And if you love staying ahead of the curve, don't forget to like, subscribe, and buckle up because the future of spaceflight is coming in hot.